Hey, this is Eric, and I just want to do a quick video of Acoustica Audio's brand new White 3 plugin suite. Uh, it's an EQ and a filter plugin based on Pultec uh, technology, solid state variety. And I'm sure that uh, you can see the familiar Bakelite looking knobs here and that sort of thing if you're used to using a Pultec. Should be familiar territory. However, you will notice there are a lot more frequencies to choose from and quite a bit more control than you would get on a traditional Pultec. Now, the second plugin is a high pass filter specifically designed for mastering. It's an elliptical filter, it comes with different modes for vinyl and also for standard mastering. And it does come with a stereo spread function too, so you can widen out your stereo mix a bit. Uh, now, both plugins feature preamp sections, and these are just basically you engage to give you just a, a little bit of an additional uh, frequency signature and some additional harmonics. In the case of the White 3 EQ, I noticed that preamp 1, for instance, has a, just a tiny bit of air on the very top. If you hit preamp 2, that air starts to, to sink down a little bit in frequency, so it starts to grab uh, lower into the spectrum, and, uh, and that continues when you hit preamp 3. You're getting quite a broader... Uh, broader boost on the top end so that's i found that really useful in, in material that's a little bit dull that you might want to liven up in a way other than eq you can you can hit these and that gives you a, a little bit more flexibility and the filter of course also has its own preamps uh we could run through the controls really quickly but i'm sure you're, you're probably a lot of this is self-evident over here you've got the left uh, channel controls and over here you've got the right channel controls uh, you've got a boost in the low end and also cut in the low end, which you would activate with this. Same thing with the highs. Although the highs, boost and cut do have uh, separate uh, on-off switches. Now, because this is a, a stereo program equalizer, you could set it up. The default is it comes up and you have just separate control over left and right, but you might want to link those. And one of the first things I usually do on a stereo treatment is hit this button right here, the C link button. That's a control link button. That will make mean that any change you make on the left or the right will uh, match. So, so you're doing things evenly between the left and the right. So let's... Uh, Take a look at the low end here. Let's say you wanted to give it a boost at uh, 30 cycles. And I boost that up. You can see the left is moving as well because we're linked. Now on a traditional Pultec, you say, well, I can clean that up a bit by, by also doing the simultaneous cutting trick, which you can do on this. But the beauty on this is that you don't have to cut at the same frequency. You could cut anywhere else. Or you could set it at the same frequency to get your traditional Pultec style responses. So I, I almost, in my mind, I treat this really as separate bands because they are um, now decoupled in terms of that, that frequency that you select. And the same thing goes on with the high end here too, right? Where you could boost, uh, let's say you give it an air boost, but you could make a dip right around five if you wanted to for whatever reason. I mean, you can do a lot more things, let's say, than uh, than the traditional Pultec. You also have output for left and right, mid-side mode, uh, the standard bandwidth, sharp uh, for the for the high-end boost, sharp or uh, or broad. And uh, if you're familiar with the Pultec curves, the way that works is uh, you know, you're just getting this little additional peak that kind of starts increasing in gain as you go sharp, which is uh, a bit of a different response from uh, a lot of other EQs. And I, I do urge you to take a look at a... At, at the way Pultec curves behave in uh, in an analyzer. Uh, also, you have an input trim. This is also very useful because, you know, if you're mastering and you've got a track that's actually pretty hot, acoustic plugins don't, they, they don't really like to be hit, you know, near the top of the range. Gain staging, it's always been the name of the game, whether you're an analog or digital, so it's definitely something you want to... Uh, check out but uh if you know acoustica products you know how this input trim knob works so it's a compensated gain matched plug-in what changes with this is how hard you're hitting everything internally now if you hit acoustica plug-in some of them if you hit them really hard you're going to start to notice artifacts uh it's distortion when it's not the the kind uh, the kind that you think you might be after so this is not like a traditional 
distortion and crank it up gain knob. In fact, I'm, I'm more often than not, I'm using it to pull things just down a bit. You get a bit more dynamics that way and a bit of a better sound. Um, so that is the equalizer. The filter is pretty self-explanatory. There's also that input trim on the filter down here. High pass, you can go 30, 60, 100, or 200 hertz. A stereo spread, which is a stereo widening trick. A little bit of that sometimes helps. And here you get into your cutting filter modes. And while I haven't gone through these extensively, they do seem to be, some seem to be a little steeper than others. Some seem to be a bit um, more gradual. The M's, again, are for standard mastering filters, and the V's are specifically made for vinyl cutting. And it is an elliptical filter, and um, this thing does sound great. And I think what I'll do now is just going to run some examples. I'm going to run some material through the EQ and the filter, play with the knobs. You can hear for yourself, and I urge you to go to Acoustica Audio and uh, download the trial. Give it a try. All right, thanks a lot. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.